Hello everyone, and welcome to the final episode of They Bleed Pixels Hardcore Strategy. In this episode, we will be starting off on the very last level of the game, which is simply titled, The End. And the final quote is a very unusual thing, which is sort of odd, and the screen is mostly soaked in blood. Which is all you need to know, because you will be dying a lot in this particular level. This one, starting off, basically teaches you that you have to keep moving at all times. Because once you get up onto that platform, you pretty much have to stay moving the whole time. So right here, you just want to duck, dash, and then slam down. And you just want to focus on kicking that sloth thing right there, because otherwise he will bounce you right in the saw blades, and he will make you lose a lot of time. You do want to just kick these guys into the floor as well, or up above, because stabbing them wastes time, and you don't really have a lot of time when those saw blades arrive. And you also want to make sure you save before that door opens, or right when that gate closes, because otherwise you will lose a lot of time, and you'll have to start the whole thing over. And that's basically how the entire level works. And you also want to make sure you can uh, dash out from there as neatly as you possibly can, so that you don't end up missing your jump. Mostly what this level is, is reusing some of the hardest obstacles in previous levels. Like this one was used in an early level in the earlier dream, but it's, well, it's a lot easier because you're pretty much got a larger platform. But the difficult part is getting past it in time, because if you don't put the checkpoint down correctly, you can end up not getting it. And you would either have to start over or try your best at getting through here. I actually managed to make it through, luckily. But this one is probably one of the easiest out of the not-so-easy parts. You will most likely die a whole lot here. It's just natural. But if you're careful and you time your jumps right, you can jump past pretty much most of them. And you will have enough time to make a checkpoint right here and maybe even get that page if you want it. But... I digress, this is also another reused part, uh, however right here you want to make sure you glide down to the left because there's a good chance you can end up getting hit by the saw blades right there. So you just want to make sure you can get yourself down through to the left so that you don't actually get hit. However this part is a lot tighter and a lot more tricky to get through, but if you can get past the wall of saw blades coming down at you in time, you can take your time easily, but again time is of the essence in this, which is pretty much the equivocal point. So you want to make sure you go quick, and as soon as you save, the salvage will come out. Again, this is just a longer version of something from some of the very rare levels, but basically you just want to dash through the saw blades as it go through, and to try not to jump as much as you can because you can easily hit the saw blades at the top or the spikes at the top, and you can get juggled around to the point where you can end up dying. And if you're not careful and some of the saw things you kick back will end up only bouncing and one will stay, they'll aggro on you instantly and charge at you, losing a lot of time. And if you are quick enough, you can make a checkpoint. Now this, this little part right here, is considerably the most difficult part of the entire level. It is the halfway point, but take this not for granted. You have to be very, very careful with this. Mostly because, even if you get to the very end, you have to kill all the squiddy things, and you have to do it by making them launch into the solid that come. Otherwise, further ahead, they will become much, much significantly more difficult, and you will most likely die. So, what you normally want to do is you want to make sure when those squiddy things dash or are stunned, they will be right in the saw blades path when it comes down because they are stupid and only want to hurt you. And of course, you also make sure not to get bounced by any of the saw blades when you get down there because they will launch you all the way back and you'll have to start the whole thing over again. So yeah, you want to collect all the blood pellets, kill them with as many points as possible, and again, try to avoid getting hit by them or blocked by them against the wall because you can easily find yourself getting hit or blocked. Doesn't matter if they're hit or blocked, they are a nuisance. This is why I think they are the most obnoxious enemy in the game because they are one, hard to hit, and two, they can block you pretty darn easily without even making a second decision to jump at you. You do want to be a little bit patient because you simply don't want to stay there. Now, something I need to remind everyone is that if you find yourself Getting frustrated or getting stuck on a part, just take a break. Just take a little breather. If you saved, you can go ahead and take a break. It's no biggie. And that's what I did here. I, I got a little bit frustrated, got a little bit ticked. And you know, I took like a two minute breather, got some fresh air, got some water, you know, that stuff. And I found myself able to focus more on this part as well because this one requires a lot of precise timing with jumps and ground attacks because you're pretty much doing the whole thing over again for at least 10 times. And this is like, 
pretty much easy, it's the most pointless thing to make a checkpoint in, but regardless, you get enough points to make a checkpoint anyway, so it's not really much worth mentioning. And again, the game reminds you to keep on moving, because if you don't keep moving, you will get kicked by saw blades. Now, for this part, you are going up, so you do actually get a little bit more momentum when you jump off there, but for this part, you want to do the air stat. I don't know what it's called, but basically, if you hold the ground attack and jump, bu jump button at the same time, you can find yourself gliding in the air, pretty much slow on your fall. It does get a little bit tricky sometimes to match that, but it's usually the easiest part of dealing with this level. Not something you want to do all the time, unless you're aiming for speedrun, but for survival's sake, you want to do it in case you don't have enough time to fall down into the next platform. It's mostly what that's for. Now, for this part, you want to make sure that you can always stun the enemies. If you don't try to stun them at least once, they can easily hit you and knock you underneath the spikes very quickly, and if they block you, it'll happen as well, and you don't exactly have a very good survival rate if you fall down that way, so you want to make sure you can kick them at least once, move out of the way, keep an eye on the spikes that are right above you, and make sure not to get blocked by these. If you're trying to go for the 100% enemy kill thing, this is one of the things where you'll most likely lose it. And for this part, you will be forced up, which will be facing knife imps right away. Uh, you normally, for these things, actually, if you aggro them to one direction, they will immediately jump in the air and pretty much hit the spikes that are along the wall there. And the moment things clear up, or when you get enough kills, you want to make sure you can make a checkpoint as quickly as possible, because this little area is pretty tricky, and if you don't kill all the enemies quickly enough in time, you can find yourself easily overwhelmed. So, you want to save there, kill the enemies whenever you can, regardless of, you know, however many points you want to get, because this is the place where you can get the most points, if you're skilled enough. But if you're just looking for survival, just juggle all the enemies into one location, kick them in the air, and then do the little air stab, because that slows time down. And you can still find yourself getting a decent amount of points, where you can get a checkpoint when the next obstacle opens up. And even when that little thing opens up, there are going to be a ton more enemies that will want to kill you and become your friends. But when the bomb imps come down in this little part, you mostly just want to like jump in the air as soon as they trigger. Because, you know, from the blast radius, however far away you can get, you can get away pretty darn easily. So, you want to save here, and this part shows how you have to fight the wraiths on their terms. You can't do it the traditional way where you stand on the ground. No, what you have to do is that you have to pull yourself away from the wall, attack, the moment that thing gets close, and right away you will want to clean back to the wall because then it will just teleport to the same side you're on. It's a very tedious process and you want to make sure you get it right. This is the way that most people kill them when they're on walls. But it is pretty tricky and sort of difficult to get sometimes, so just keep an eye out for it. And of course for the last one you have the chance, I believe, to just uh, kill this thing while doing a little ground attack and just stabbing continuously while crouching, it makes it a lot easier, so just something to keep track of. Now for this next little bit, you want to save here, just for safety's sake, and just follow the pattern of ducking and jumping very... Just tap the jump button and make sure you're moving forward enough so that you can catch up with the platform that's moving, and you're immediately greeted by more enemies. This is a frequent thing, process that will be happening every time we come back here. And it's just, you know, something to give you a checkpoint without just handing you the blood pellets to make one. And you do want to save once you get to right about here before you go in, because basically you'll be trapped. And what will happen is you'll be faced with both bombs, just bombs, and squiddy things. You want to make sure that any bomb- you just want to stick to one side and to kick any bombs that will come near you or in the center like that because even the small blast rays can hurt you if you're not careful enough. And of course to attack and stab any of the squiddy things that will come in your general direction because you know if they come down from uh, the other side they have a better chance of getting killed right away. You can see I just got some bad luck with the bombs. But yeah if you don't get out there soon enough you'll just be immediately attacked by bombs that will immediately off. And before you can get out, you are also immediately greeted by more knife imps that will 
try their best to deter any progress you made. And you do want to save here, of course. Even though this whole combat zone is entirely optional. You don't have to do a thing here. Pretty much, if you want to, you can just go up into the top and not even bother. Because once you get that open, that's pretty much where you're supposed to go. I wonder what it could be. Who knows what it could be? It is the heart! The heart of the headmaster! And if you're not careful here, you can actually die. So, just keep that in mind. But anyway, all you gotta do here is stab the heart to death. And once the heart stops beating, you've pretty much beaten the whole game. So yeah, uh, this has been Brownie Mix in the Bleed Pixels Hardcore Strategy. I also have another series for Electronic Super Joy, in case you're interested in that, I'll give a link for that in the description below and annotations at the end of the video. But, with all that done, I have shown you all there is to do in terms of the campaign. There are quite a few more bonus levels and extra trinkets and whatnot that you can unlock, but as for completing it, You've pretty much done all you can. So, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you would like to see more or leave a comment regarding some positive critique. And with that, I'll see you all next time.